Take a look at all these lines here. I've been sitting here for the last two hours watching them form these ropey looking things in the sky. It started out with uh, one in the middle and it was rather short and it grew and grew and then all of a sudden there were, you can see these lines here. These are not clouds. This is also not a cloud. There might be some real clouds back here. We're being sold a good bill of goods with this fake sky. This is preparing us for the mark of the beast. It is heavy metals being sublimated, that is to say, heated up with electricity. And the nanoparticulates are falling down to the earth and we're breathing them in. Look at this thing here. It's not moving. It's growing though, but it is not moving. Back here toward the Taunus Mountains, we've got a lot of this fake cloud cover. You'll notice in the mountains and in the high hills, they often have fog. They put fog in. They spray it in with their frequent flyers. I've shown this many times. Take a look at these windmills. They inject. Look at how mechanically they're moving. You really think that the wind moves like this? If you get up close to one of these windmills, you'll see the blades, it's, it, they're very, very heavy. And these are actually injecting electricity directly into the atmosphere. Take a look at the pink here. I'm looking here out now to the west. You've got blue clouds and you've got pink background. This is to so unnatural. It's just unimaginable how people are accepting this as being natural. Praise God for the birds. They are natural. I can't believe we still have birds here at the rate they're taking down trees and building buildings. This whole area back here is going to be built up. There was a big petition, a lengthy petition set up by the citizens of this town that I live in. They do not want any more shopping. They do not want any more houses built. But the forces that should not be do not care what we want. So much for democracy. Take a look. Obviously, these windmills are creating wind. They have many ways of getting heat, and this wind can actually with the electricity that it generates can drive temperatures also four, six degrees. It's just uh, appalling that people are not noticing this they, and they do not care. I can make, I don't know how many videos, every day several. And you know, no views, no views, but I still have to make them because it's a witness. Heaven and earth are our witnesses. Open up the Bible in the beginning. God created the heavens and the earth. And in the end, the earth is going to, the heavens will be rolled up like a scroll and the earth is going to be burnt up. These are the two witnesses. So this is how they get more temperature with the electricity generated by these windmills which they have ripped down and taken out many, many forests to build, not only here, but everywhere in Germany. They said they were going to get rid of nuclear. They did not get rid of nuclear. What is nuclear but alchemy, chemtrails? They spray the skies. It rains down on us. They have these nuclear power plants that pump the small dust of Egypt directly from the ground into the air. 
Take a look, you can see that we have a clear sky back here. It's been ionized. It's been sprayed. Take a look. These clouds are still hanging here. Why is that? They're not leaving. I do think they do look like real clouds. Somehow they get these clouds um, sprayed, real clouds they spray over, and they snuff them out. Take a look at this thing. It's still here. It's just moving and branching out, you see? It's just, just growing and changing, that's all. It is not moving. These are not clouds. This thing is turning blue. I believe that this is mercury and sulfur hexafluoride. Sulfur hexafluoride is three and a half to four times heavier than the atmosphere. That is why when the sky is laden with blue, you get this feeling, you get the false impression that it is humid. These clouds are anti-moisture. They suck up oxygen. And so it cannot be humidity. You tell people that and they look at you like you're nuts. This is what it's come to. Anybody that tells the truth, look at this thing slanting down here and then this slanting up. It's kind of in a V shape. It's a vortex. It's, it soaks up the atmosphere. Look at this. It's, it's like the fulcrum of this vortex here been sprayed in. Look at this. All lines, lines, lines. This is not natural. It's interesting because clouds are usually in kind of a round form, not flat. The earth is flat, but they want to make you believe that the earth is a ball. And they want to make you believe that clouds are not round, but they're flat lines. And people believe it. People do not care. So indifferent. Look at these welts here. You can see this is streaming through. It's a live stream. Look. And still the birds are singing, praise God. We still have some blossoms on the tree in spite of all the wind that we had. That's what they often do almost every year. You get all this heat, so then you get the blossoms coming on the trees, and then bam, the temperature crashes, the wind starts blowing, and all the blossoms are blown off the trees. You don't believe that they're doing this by a script written by the devil himself?